How did we lose Ken Spears, the Scooby-Doo co-creator passed away at the age of 82? Hey guys, welcome to our channel. For more updates on the celebrities, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Ken Spears, the co-founder of Ruby Spears Production and the co-creator of Scooby-Doo, has passed away at the age of 82. According to Variety, Spears' son, Kevin Spears, said that his father had passed away on Friday due to complications related to Lou body dementia. His statement says Ken will forever be remembered by his wit, his storytelling, his loyalty to family and his strong work ethic. Ken has not only made a lasting impression on his family, but he has touched the life of many as co-creator of Scooby-Doo. Ken has been a role model for us throughout his life and he will continue to live on in our hearts. The original show Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, only ran for two series from 1969 to 1970, but managed to establish a template that spawned 50 years of stories. Ken's passing comes after three months after his co-creator Ruby. Warner Brothers president Sam Register said in a statement, Warner Bros. Animation is saddened to learn of the passing of Kane Spears and we send our warmest thoughts to his loved ones. He went on to add, he was a true innovator in the industry whose gifts of humor and storytelling continue to delight audiences. You cannot find a screen in the world that has not played a version of Scooby-Doo. We continue to be inspired by his work at Warner Bros. Animation and are honored to carry on the legacy of his beloved characters. Ken's Legacy Ken, born in Los Angeles on 12th March 1938, was the friend of the son of animation producer William Hanna. He later was hired at Hanna's company and worked there as a sound editor in 1959. And while he was working at the department, he made Joey Ruby and the two began their partnership as writers. Together, they wrote Hanna Barbera Sid and Marty Croft Television Productions and D. Patty Feeling Enterprises. In 1977, the two created their own studio, Ruby Spares Productions, and went on to produce animated series such as Superman, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Fang Face, and so on. Later in 1981, Hanna Barbera's parent company, Thrap Entertainment, purchased Ruby Spears Production and 10 years later, their catalog, as well as that of Hanna Barbera, was sold to Turner Broadcasting. Spears is now survived by his two sons, Kevin and Chris. Before passing away, it is said that Ken's net worth was estimated around $3 million.